Good evening slash late afternoon. How are you? I'm Richard Osman. Welcome along to House of Games. Lovely to have you here. Lovely to have our four players with us here as well. One of them tomorrow is going to be walking away with this trophy. Who is it going to be? It's going to be one of these four. It, could it be Vicky Stone? <laughs> could it be Addy at Everton? Hey. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Could, sorry, I've started early. <laughs> could it be Jean Johansson? Or could it be Stephen Mangan? Oh. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Stephen, we will start with you. Two wins in a row. Vicky won on Monday, but the last two days, yeah. both wins yesterday, a big win as well. Is success going to your head? Uh, is success going to my head? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've the open top bus parade I had this morning. <laughs> I, thought it was a, I thought it was a bit much. Yeah, yeah. but you know, you've, exactly. got to, you've got to celebrate the good times. Jean, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we? Yep. So we find you in third place. Stephen has a one point lead at the top there. What's going to happen today? I want a prize today, Richard. Oh, it would be so nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Addy, shall we take a look at the prizes? <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. Why not? <laughs> Go on. Why not? One of these uh, could be yours today. There's binoculars, there's a towel, there's the action doll, there's the shoehorn. The prize everyone takes is the wheelie luggage. Yeah. What do you think you would go for, Addy? You travel a lot? Yeah, I do travel a lot. But I do like the idea of just, from nowhere, pulling out that shoehorn. I think okay, it just, yeah, okay. just yeah. would be hilarious. With if you do face. win, I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to have to for take For someone who shoe doesn't on. walk, to just pull out a shoehorn. <laughs> have some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, what do you think you would go for? It's got to be the luggage. It's got to be the luggage. It's got to be the luggage, luggage. doesn't it? Remind me what you took home on Monday. Oh, the golf umbrella. The golf umbrella. The golf umbrella. Yeah. So, a win for you, two for Stephen. None so far for uh, our friends in the middle. Should we play our first round today? It is. <laughs> House of Games. Now, in this round, we take, as you see from House of Games there, we've changed one letter to make it Mouse of Games. Mm -hmm. We have done that with some ballets. What we've done, we've changed the title by one letter, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you a synopsis of that new ballet, OK? Vicky, we'll start with you. Name that ballet. An evil sorcerer traps actors Pertwee, Bean and Connery in an enclosed body of water. I, the, 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 the ballet I think I'm looking for is, is Swan Lake, and I need to, to, an evil sorcerer s s sort of change something. The yeah. clues here, Pertwee, Bean and Connery, they got something in common. Sean Lake. Is it Sean Lake? <laughs> Sean Lake. It is Sean Lake. Very well done. Swan Lake becomes Sean Lake. So you see what happens now. So we change Swan Lake to Sean Lake. And you did well? Yeah, yeah. you did really well. Very <laughs> nicely done. Addy, uh, what ballet is this, please? We've changed it by one letter. While her parents sleep, young Clara meets the sugar plum fairy who combs her hair to rid it of louse eggs. I have no clue for ballet. What's the ballet that's got the sugar plum fairy in it? The nutcracker. That may well be right, but we've changed the letter of the nutcracker to make it fit this clue. I imagine the combing her hair to rid it of louse eggs might be there. Who <laughs> <laughs> combs her hair? Combs her hair. Oh, look at these three, Addy. <laughs> They're so desperate to say it. Oh, go on. Uh, okay. Just put me out of my misery. We will time you out. As soon as we're timed out, we've got a buzzer race. Jean, oh. your handsome wins the buzzer race. The net cracker. The oh. net cracker. Oh. Is right. Well done. Mm -hmm. And Jean, it is now your ballet. A lowly servant escapes her wicked stepsisters and finds love with a daytime TV judge. Named Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Rinder. Rinderella? Oh, Rinderella. Oh. Oh, 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 I want to see that. Rinderella <laughs> becomes Rinderella. Judge Rinder. Stephen. Right. Um, let's get these ballets out of the way, shall we? OK. Here's, here is the final <laughs> ballet. Ballet the nuisance. <laughs> yeah, they have been a ballet nuisance. <laughs> A princess is cursed so that from her 16th birthday, she will emit a high-pitched sound every time a swear word is spoken. Bleeping beauty. Oh, that's so nice. Bleeping beauty? That's <laughs> Well done. Sleeping <laughs> beauty becomes <laughs> bleeping beauty. Very nice. Now, we're back to you, Vicky. We've changed uh, the name of a radio programme by one letter. Which radio programme is this? Jack D chairs a panel game where guests apologise for being unable to play golf. Jack D chairs a panel game. It's a Radio 4. Yeah, it started uh, in 1972. That's the clue at the bottom there. Not yeah. with Jack D hosting. Mm, 
<laughs> no, you have to time me out. Okay, we'll time you out, and uh, I don't think we have a buzzer race on our hands. But Stephen Mangan. I'm sorry, I haven't a club. Club. Yeah, I was, I was I'm thinking, sorry, sorry, I haven't a clue. I haven't a like... clue becomes I'm sorry, I haven't a club. Well done, Stephen. Nicely done. Addy, next one. The meteorological office makes its predictions for trends involving jumping over a twirling rope. Uh... Buzzing. Go on. OK, we'll time, time you out, Eddie. Stephen. Oh. The skipping forecast. The skipping oh. forecast. The shipping forecast becomes the skipping forecast. Well played. <laughs> Jean Johansson, here is yours. What is this radio programme, please? Jenny Murray and Jane Garvey discussed issues of particular interest to Julius Caesar. No idea. J Jenny Murray and Jane. Oh, I know what the I know what the uh, the radio show is. I listen um, to Radio One. You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they discuss issues Rome. I would think of Julius Caesar. No idea. Sorry. Okay, we'll time. We'll buzz you out to see if. It, oh, Addy looks like. Oh, Addy. Roman's Hour. Oh. Roman's Hour. Oh. Well played, Addy. Roman's Hour becomes Roman's Hour. Yeah. Very nicely done. Final question of the round goes to Stephen Mayen. What radio show is this? Nish Kumar, Angela Barnes and Andy Zaltzman take a sideways look at what's happened to semi-aquatic amphibians in the past week. The Newt Quiz. The Newt Quiz. Lovely end to the round. The Newt Quiz becomes the Newt Quiz. Well played, Stephen. It's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the score, shall we? One point each for Vicky and Addy. Two points for Jean. Stephen Mangan out in the lead again. Four points. Well played, Stephen. Well played. But let's play another round, shall we? Round two today is going to be... Totes emoji. This is a pairs round. And the player in last place gets to choose their partner. Uh, Addy and Vicky, you're in last place. Addy, why don't you choose a partner today? Everyone's played with everyone so far. Yeah. So uh, who do you fancy today? Let's go Vicky today. So Stephen and Jean, you're a team. Addy and Vicky, you're a team. Now, before the show, you did a little bit of homework. Did you not? Yes. Uh, you each sent me the name of a British TV drama, but you were only allowed to use emojis. Now, what you've got to do <laughs> is guess the TV drama that your partner sent to me. <laughs> okay? It's already funny, this one. Uh -oh. Addy, I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> Addy, we will start with you. Okay. Vicky, before the show, sent me this. She is hinting at a British TV drama, but what is that British TV drama? Wow. That's good. <laughs> Are we allowed to buzz in? Do you think you've got it? Oh, I've got it. Oh, you got it? Oh, oh. <laughs> don't you worry about me. <laughs> Yeah. I, got, I got it. Is it casualty? I mean, you would. The oh, poor car. Somebody gets stuck <laughs> in the toilet. Is it, uh, the, is car it was, the car was aquaplaning <laughs> and sadly <laughs> crashed into a toilet. Come on. Um, <laughs> yeah, Jean, what, what are you I'm saying? Sorry. Waterloo Road. Waterloo oh. Road. Oh, very good. Very nice. <laughs> Water. Lou Road. Jean, Stephen has sent me some emojis no. that uh, hopefully represent a British TV drama, but which British TV drama? What? Oh, Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Wow. OK. Ah, OK. You haven't, have you got it? Maybe. <laughs> Is it all creatures great and small? Yes, oh, it is! Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, wow. wow. That oh, is brilliant. Can yeah. I just say, firstly, brilliant emoji. Secondly, yeah. unbelievable guessing. Oh, great. Wow. Great. Very well done if you got that at home as well. Vicky, <laughs> before the show, Addy sent me uh, some emojis which represent a British TV drama. Yeah. But what, and he looks confident about it. <laughs> uh, but, but what is this British okay. TV drama? Well, I, I can imagine it's not casualty. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't speak too soon. <laughs> oh, I thought this was pretty simple. I've got it. <laughs> oh, have we got it? I can't. I haven't I got it. It's my lateral uh, thinking. It's amazing when it, it looks impossible, and the, the second you get it, you're like, mm. amazing. I haven't got this one yet. Have you got this one at home? Should we give it up and let Stephen yes, Mangan take some glory? What do you think of this, Stephen? I think it sounds like ballet, Happy Valley. 
Amazing. I was, oh, oh sounds, happy. Like, sounds like sounds like, sounds like I ballet. Was say ballet. But I was like, where did you get okay. ballet? Wow, well, that is well, good. Mean. That's Very good. good. It's been all ballet so far today, hasn't it? Happy sounds like ballet. Happy valley. Now, Stephen, uh, Jean before the show oh. sent me these emojis to represent okay. a British TV drama, but which one? Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> is, is there a show called Three Circle Selfie Shrugs? <laughs> oh, I love that. It's American, right? Uh, wait a minute. This is uh, tri uh, tri triple three, three. It's not casualty, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> When three people looking at their phones fell down three manholes, <laughs> and then the doctors didn't know what was wrong with them. <laughs> uh, guess, guess, I, I, I don't know. I okay. just don't know. Sorry. Can I, can I, can I have a guess? I'll be so happy just if you get this. Home. I was thinking it was Black Mirror. It is. No, it's a Black wow. Mirror. Oh, there you go. Wow. Talk us through. So black. Yeah. Mirror, because there was no mirror emoji and. Uh, what is going on on that show? We never know what... That is great. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the scores. Vicky and Addy, you both have one. Jean, you have three. Stephen Mangan, two points in the lead with yeah. five. Three rounds to go. <laughs> Round three is... Games House of. Now, in this round, I'm going to read you a question. I need you to give me the answer in alphabetical order. OK, so if I asked your name, you'd have to say Mangan Stephen. Aha. Uh -huh. OK. Here's your first question. Fingers on buzzers or buzzers fingers on? Which animated children's TV character first appeared in 1981 and has a black and white cat named Jess? That is Stephen. Pat Postman. Pat Postman? It is. Well done from Postman Pat. You played Post and Pat, didn't you, in the I movie? Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, are we, are we going to see a sequel of that? Uh, maybe Pat Postman could be the name of the sequel. <laughs> That's a good idea, isn't yeah. it? Here's your next one. Give me the answer in alphabetical order, please. Who is this? That is Stephen. Blessed Brian. Blessed Brian. <laughs> Absolutely, well done. <laughs> Brian bless you becomes Blessed Brian. Next question. What is the title of this song? I've known a few guys who thought they were pretty smart But you've got being right down to an art You think you're a genius, you drive me up the wall You're a Vicky Impress Oh, I'm so sorry, Jean uh, Don't <laughs> Me Oh, oh. <laughs> Addy, come on, we can do this don't uh, <laughs> impress. <laughs> oh, can I? Why can't I work it out? Don't impress. Much. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. Stephen. Don't impress me much. That. Oh, he's only gone and done it. Oh. Don't oh. impress me that. much. That. <laughs> Very nicely done. <laughs> Actually, one by one, oh, they went one yeah. further down the answer for you. <laughs> uh, next question. What is the full name of the South Coast professional football team nicknamed the Seagulls? Yes, Stephen. And Bright. It's incorrect, I'm afraid, that it's Vicky. Albion Brighton. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, Jean. Albion? Brighton? No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Addy. <laughs> Albion. And. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Brighton. Hove. Oh, yes. hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, Brighton and Hove Albion. Next question. Who is this? Yes, Addy. Uh, boys, pet, shop. Well done. Pet shop boys, boys, pet shop. Final question in this round, you will all be thrilled to know. In which book by C.S. Lewis do the Pevensey children discover Narnia? Addy. Ah. Uh, 
Um, okay. And? Lion, the wardrobe witch. Oh, oh, oh and no. Mangan's in. <laughs> and? Lion, the, the, the. Oh, jeez. Wardrobe witch. He's only oh. gone and done it, and Lion, the, the, the wardrobe witch. You forgot, yeah, you forgot the this. The this. Oh, three rounds down. Let's take a look at the score, shall we, after that round. Another good round for Stephen. Look at this. He's wow. dominating. Wow. Dominating. Lion. Vicky still on one point. Terrible. Monday's winner. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joint second place, uh, Addy and Jean. Stephen Mangan, nine points. He's got more than everyone else put together oh. at the moment, oh. Stephen. Thank you. <laughs> Well played. You've got to respect the man's game sometimes, yeah, yeah. don't you? He's got You've game. got to respect oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Round four is. <laughs> question writers day off. Every once in a while, I give the question writers on the show a day off. You see the sterling work they do all week, some of the amazing questions they come up with. But when they have the day off, their children write the questions. <laughs> OK? Uh, these are the, uh, the choice of children you have. <laughs> all the way up from Nola, who is four up to Gracie, who is eight. Nola has a, really has form on this show. <laughs> One of her questions was, does Anthony like bananas? That was just <laughs> so you know the Brilliant. kind of stuff that Nola comes up with. Okay. Vicky, what do, you, what do you fancy there? I'm going to go with Poppy, five. You're going to go with a five-year-old. Poppy asks, where does the moon go when the sun goes up and it isn't there? Goes to the other side of the earth. Interesting. Let's see. Is that the answer? It's exactly the answer. Wow. Well done, Vicky. Well done, Poppy. Like... Poppy adds, they can't shine together. I just knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Great question, Poppy. Very well done and well answered by Vicky. Addy, I wonder whose question you would like. I'm going to go for Raphael. You go to Raphael. I mean, he's, sometimes, I've got to say, Raphael can be quite esoteric <laughs> yeah. for a, for a seven-year-old. And Raphael has given us a picture question. What key is this song going to be in? Oh, my days. Yeah. I mean, I have no clue of that. I mean, there's... Uh, what key? Is it sharp? It is not... Oh, <laughs> mangan! It beats the professional musician, Radio 3 <laughs> presenter. <laughs> Stephen? Is it D major? <laughs> Correct. D or B minor, but probably D. And Raphael says, Vicky, you can back him up on this, a lot of violin music seems to be in D for some reason. D major is the key of triumph. Key of triumph. If you own a triumph at home, <laughs> um, <laughs> get, get your key out. <laughs> Jean, you got a nine-year-old? Yes. Yeah, everyone here a bit younger than that. What do you, what do you fancy here? Uh, I'll go for Charlie. Charlie, eight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this no. Is, Charlie, this is a good question. Ooh. Who is taller, Dr Chris or Dr Zand? Are they twins? Yeah, I think they're, they're twins, <laughs> yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they're really nice. Yeah, they are. So I know who they are. Um, stab in the dark, I'm going to go for Dr Zand. It's not... Oh, oh no. hang on, no. there he is again. I wonder who you think the answer might be. Which Dr Chris. <laughs> Dr Chris is the correct oh. answer. Oh. Charlie says, Dr Chris and Dr Zander are twins from CBBC, so I thought it was interesting that they are different heights. You're quite right, Charlie, it was interesting. Stephen, who would you like to go for? I have a four-year-old, so I know how their mind works. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to go for Gracie, eight. Oh, you... Oh, <laughs> boo! <laughs> Come on, I'll go for Nola. Bring, give me Nola. Oh, you're going for Nola. It's Nola's okay. the star, I want Nola. OK. Nola has got a question for us, but she's also got a little bit of additional information which might help because I think okay. maybe she's seen some celebrity struggle with some of her questions before now. <laughs> I see. OK. And a little bit of help as well. What is Mr Grassy? <laughs> I'll give you a really big clue. Oh. He lives in Mrs Forbes' classroom and is mostly green. Is Mr Grassy a grass snake? No. That is Jean. Tortoise. It is not. That is Vicky. Is it someone with crest for hair? <laughs> it is not, Addy. <laughs> is it a cow? Is... 
No, no, I've not been to your classroom, but if there's a cow in it, I want to go. Come on, you've got to go. It's what you call a, a cow, Mr Grassi. Uh, no, no, is it a cow? It is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> I think Mr Grassi is a, is a slightly confusing name. Okay. Uh, because it is... A budgie. A budgie. Oh. A budgie. Nola says he eats special seeds, but you can't put your fingers through the bars of his cage, even if you just want to stroke him. Vicky, mm. who would you like next? I did well with the five-year-old last time, so I'm going to go Tommy. You're going five. Tommy. Yeah. Oh, this is a tough one. OK. How many species of bear are there? Ooh. Asked Tommy. Good question, Tommy. It is a good question. I'm going to... Uh, eight. Yeah. That's a guess, I assume. It is a, yes, it is okay. a guess, yeah. Let's find out. Are there eight bears? There wow. are eight wow. bears. How about oh. that? Oh. Wow, yes. you, and t you and Tommy. Yes. Amazing. That I couldn't have named those, amazing. but yes. Amazing. The sun bear, the sloth bear, spectacle bear, American black bear, Asian black bear, brown bear, polar bear, and giant panda. Great question. Tommy says, I don't actually like bears, I like sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Tommy. I agree with you. Addy, who would you like to go with? Let's go Gracie. Going Gracie. Here's Gracie's question. Oh, this is a good one. I like this question. What are the names of the children who go into Willy Wonka's Ooh. chocolate factory with Charlie? Um, is it Augustus Gloop? Um, he's the only one I can remember. Should we time you out? Yeah, time me out. See if anyone else wants to have a crack at this. <laughs> Stephen's going to have a go. Augustus Gloop. Yeah. Mike TV, uh, oh my God, I've just forgotten them. Uh, Augustus Gloop, Mike TV, uh, Veronica Salt. Oh, wow. And <laughs> incorrect, I'm afraid. That is Vicky. <laughs> Look at that. Mike TV, yeah. Augustus Gloop, Veruca Salt. Oh, wow. yes. You looked very happy for someone who'd only got three of the answers. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more. There's one more. And it's the girl that. Gets turned in oh. to a blueberry. I've, I can't think of her name. No, it's no. time you had. Violet Beauregard, isn't it? Violet, Violet Beauregard. Beauregard was the fourth <laughs> one. Jean, got two children to choose uh, between. Hey. You've got Finny and you've got Sammy. Little Finny Ogle boy. <laughs> yeah, everyone's avoiding the four year old <laughs> ones again. <laughs> this is a really good question. Finny asks, what Ooh. is the hottest planet? <sighs> well, Hmm. The sun? Not, I'm no. afraid. Stephen? Mercury. Is it Mercury? Oh. It is not. Oh. Addy? Uh, two. I think Mars. Is it Mars? It is oh, not. It's the other one then, isn't it? Vicky's going to have a go. I guess Saturn. No. Is it Saturn? Oh, it's Jupiter. It Venus. is not. Is it Jupiter? Oh, if only you said Jupiter. Why? It was one of those two. Yeah, you'd have been wrong yeah. again because it's Venus. Venus. Uh, yeah. Venus. Venus is the answer. <laughs> Finney says, there are big thick clouds and the rays of the sun are coming through in the thick clouds and they're trapping the hotness in there and more and more rays come in to make it hotter and hotter. And this is an absolute burn to you. And Mercury, <laughs> it doesn't have atmosphere to trap the heat. Oh. So there you go. Oh, Fair enough. enough. That's you told Stephen. <laughs> yeah, it really. Great is. question, Finney. Stephen, to finish off this round. Come on, Sammy. Okay, Sammy says, how long do chicken eggs take to hatch? In days. Ooh. He's given the answer in days. Three days? Three days. Is that correct? <laughs> it is not. Anyone fancy a crack? <laughs> Vicky. Twelve days. Is incorrect as well. We're going in the right direction, though. Addy. 14 days. Going in the right direction still, but incorrect, Jean. 20. I'll give you the point, yeah, 20 days. 21 days officially, but 20 days sometimes as well. Yeah. Sammy says, we had eggs at school. They hatched in something. It was called an incubator. Very well done, all the children on that round. I'm going to say you did much better than the adults. One more round to go. Let's take a look at the scores leading into Answer Smash. Here they are. I mean, it's a procession, isn't it? Look at this. <laughs> three and three for Vicky and Addy. Four for Jean, 11 points to Stephen Mangan. Well played, Stephen. <laughs> Let's play Answer Smash, shall we? Here we go. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is... Singers, those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. 
Which paste made from sesame seeds is often added to hummus? Yes, Vicky. Sunitahiti. Sunitahiti? No. It's not, I'm afraid. Yes, Stephen. Sunitahini. Sunitahini is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Next one. Which TV series based on a book by Piper Kerman is set in a women's federal prison? Oh, I know. Oh. Yes, Jean. Jason Orange is the new black. Yeah, well done. Jason Orange is the new black. <laughs> the answer, Jean. Jason Orange and Orange is the new black. <laughs> Next singer. In The Three Musketeers, what is the famous motto of the title characters? <laughs> yes, Vicky. Katie Tun stall for one and one for all. Oh, oh well that. played. <laughs> Katie Tun stall for one and one for all. The next category is breakfast foods. Riga is the capital city of which European country? Uh, yes, Vicky. Pano Shoko Latvia. Pano Shoko Latvia? I played a fun one to say as well. Hannah Chocolat beer is good, fun to say. Um, next breakfast food. The BDO World Professional Darts Championship is held at which Surrey venue? Yes, Vicky. Corn Flakeside Darts Centre. Corn Flake and Lakeside. Corn Flakeside. Very nice. It's catching you up here, Stephen. I know. Yeah. Next breakfast food. Which singing siblings had a 1979 UK hit single with I'm in the mood for dancing? Yes, Jean. The Granolan sisters. <laughs> Granolan sisters. <laughs> I love that Well one. played. That's a good one. Granolan sisters. <laughs> Nicely done. Next category. <laughs> we are done. The winner of Thursday's House of Games on Monday it was Vicky. On Tuesday it was Stephen. On Wednesday it was Stephen. On Thursday, you got to hand it to him. Stephen Mangan, once again, three wins in a row, 12 points, set, uh, six point lead. Gene coming into second place there as well, nicely done. Stephen, you got yourself a third prize. Oh, I'm so sad not to see Addy get the shoehorn. I'm tempted by the uh, towel, because I do think of you whenever I get into the shower. <laughs> yeah, OK, nice. But the luggage is good. Is the luggage good? Yeah. Then I'm going to go with the luggage. We're going with the Thank luggage. You. Stephen Thank Mangan you. takes home a house of games, a wheelie luggage. Congratulations. Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard with one game to go. It's double points Friday tomorrow, so okay. eight points for a win, Great. six for second and so on. Uh, but here's how we're looking. It's looking pretty good for Stephen, I have to say. 15 points, Vicky on 12. Jean, you have nine, Addy on four. Double points Friday there, so yeah. uh, you could yeah, you still have. win. Thank you all so much. Another lovely day of quizzing. Congratulations, Stephen, there. I'll see you at the same time, same place for the final of House of Games tomorrow. See you as well, same time, same place on the House of Games. £10,000 in cash in here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>